She got her start on the small screen, but big things were always on the cards for Tony Perry. The actress turned singer turned TV host has a long list of talents and now the performer is passing her skills on to the next generation. From popular TV actress to singing pop sensation. Tony Perrin has been a favourite on our radios and television sets since the late 80s. Her successful start on E Street launched her acting career. Why are you doing this to me? I didn't want to. She then went on to win over Aussie audiences as a resident of Summer Bay. Trust me, Tug. We'll get you through these exams. You just have to have a little bit of faith in yourself. But the actress's talents were not confined to the small screen. She starred in the film All Men Are Liars and went on to enjoy success behind the mic with two singles becoming Aria Gold certified. Oh, baby, These days, the experienced performer has opened up a successful drama school. She's passing on tips and tricks to the next generation who are hoping to follow in her footsteps. And Tony joins us now live. Nice to have you oh, with us. Thank you. I, I'm so excited to be here for your first show back. <laughs> you, we, love, we love having you on, you know oh, that. thanks. Let's go back to where it all began, E Street. How do you look back on that? It's amazing because you, you know when you're 17 and you've got all the insecurities and life is so big and I look at it now and I think, you know, there was so much about me that I should have embraced. I should have enjoyed, you know, like when you're 17 and you've got all the pressures of your body image and, you know, you're, you're brunette, not blonde, and you've got blue eyes, you know, all the things that kind of like, like just trouble you when you're a teenager. Did you feel that you had to look a certain way because absolutely. you're in the public eye? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember there was pressure about how we looked on screen. And I do remember a time when my manager was told by the um, production team that I had put on weight and I needed to lose it. But thankfully, my manager didn't pass on that information because she felt like it was damaging to me as an as a individual. So she didn't pass it on, but years later she told me that she kept that wow. to yeah. herself. So I mean, if I was lucky that I had someone who protected me, but mm. imagine how many women are out there that are not protected mm and they are kind of faced with that. Yeah, and I'm absolutely. sure it's going on every single day, Tony. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. yeah. Hey, do you still stay in touch with the original cast? Well, recently we had a we had a get together, we had a reunion, so it was nice to see everyone. I mean, we all went our separate ways, but when I see them, it's like yesterday that we were on set. So it's yeah, it's great to catch up. You transitioned into a singing career. How come? What? Why? Was that always your first love? Yeah, singing was always a big part of my life and music. And before I was on East Street, I had a band, and I, you know, it, it's what I always did. So I always wanted to be a singer, and you know, and then I just got amazing opportunities but yeah it was always my focus when I was on E Street I knew that I always wanted to make music. It was the 90s everyone was in a band in the 90s. <laughs> well I just, even you. Yeah, no, no, fantastic. <laughs> a, band. a couple of bands I think Sal. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it all. Um, Tony you're great at everything you know you're a great singer you're a great actress but looking Thanks. back is there something that you enjoyed more? Well I mean it's all a challenge for me I just like everything about my industry. I mean, I've always loved making music. There's nothing more satisfying than sitting in a studio, writing a song and, you know, and it coming to fruition. But there's something really stimulating about getting a character and going onto set and making that character come to life and working as a team and, you know, and making that and mm. getting it on air. So, I don't know, it's all fascinating to me. And, you know, and the great thing is that, that at my age, um, I haven't lost my fascination for it. I still love it and that's why I started up the schools because I still feel like there's so much I have to learn and I'm, you know, and I'm learning it through the kids too. The school you're referring to is a school where you're teaching, I guess, up and coming performers what it is that they need to know. What do you tell them? What's the number one piece of advice that they need? Well, I mean, essentially it's about work hard but have fun. You know, I mean, it's, it's a serious business. You have to work hard, you know, because that's the only way you're going to get where you want to go, mm. but also enjoy it. Mm. You know, I, I look back at my career and I was a very focused young woman, but um, there's probably more fun that I could have had. I could have enjoyed the highs a bit more yeah. and, you know, and maybe not have 
felt the lows so much. Mm. You know, you know, so so that's why I feel like I've got so much to share and so much to help yeah. other performers with. Looking back on what you commented on before, saying the pressures, you know, the mm. weight thing, your hair, how how it looks and everything, is that advice that you're passing over to the to the young girls and guys out there? Be yourself. Don't be judged by what's going on around you. I mean, 100%. I mean, you would know as performers yourself that it's what you, who you are that makes you unique. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, there's so much pressure to conform, but we're always telling that to our, our actors, that it's your unique take on things, it's how you see the world and how you feel the world that makes you unique. Yeah. So, you know, be, be that. that. Mm. Yeah. You've got two kids. Would you ever want them to follow in your footsteps? Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, look, I would because I'd have fun. Yeah. <laughs> My little girl, she loves to dance. I say to her, I can't wait to go to a dance class with you. She's three. It's going to be a while yet. <laughs> but probably by the time she does want to go to dance classes, she's going to be asking me to just go away, Mum, and wait in the car. Um, look, I mean, it's a great career, but it's full of, you know, it's pitfalls, you know, it's a hard career yeah. and there's no certainties with it. So I think it would be hard to watch my children face the same mm. life that I faced yeah. and the same, like, you know, yeah. difficulties sure. and yeah. rejection. Oh, oh. no, it'd be like, tough. You don't want your child to face rejection ever. No yeah. way. Um, but I mean, you know, if they love what they do, I won't be able to stop them. Yeah. Mm. Do you see many stage mums around? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> what are they like? Well, a, a quick yeah. story. Yeah, I mean, they all think that their, their child, their son or daughter, is incredibly talented. And they all think that, you know, they need an agent and they, you know, they need to start working immediately. Um, but, you know, it's a long process and, you know, it's, it's going to take some time. And, I mean, I grew up in a talent school myself, so... I know how long it takes and um, yeah you know that's why we want to help young kids because I mean all the horrible things have been said to me throughout my career like things that just totally deflate you and I just I just want to kind of help those kids not believe it yeah. you know and understand yeah. you know who they are as performers and you know not listen to all the criticism because we always listen to the criticism yeah, we, yeah. Do. Yeah. we never true. listen to the good stuff we always listen to the criticism yeah. and you know just to pass all that on well yeah. teach the children well tony i hope you know i do you will. Yeah. <laughs> great to speak to you all the best tony, and give our too. best to will as well oh, i you. always do nice one tony <laughs> coming up monica